First at noon, though, we are tracking breaking news in an investigation of an officer-involved moped crash in Providence. A news conference is set to begin at any moment. Attorney General Peter Narona will be announcing the findings of their investigation into a crash last October that left 24-year-old Jamal Gonsalves critically injured. We're going to go to that news conference when it gets underway. But first, Target 12 investigator Tim White is live in studio with background on the story. We really have been working on this for months, Tim. Right, Danielle, and I'm told the family of Jamal Gonzalez met personally with AG Peter Nerona this morning where he delivered the news he is about to unveil to the public. Now, my colleague Brandon Truitt says the family appeared upset and distraught after leaving that meeting but declined to comment until after Nerona's news conference. Now, look, a lot has happened since October when this crash happened, so I want to remind people about this case. Uh, case. As you may recall, Gonzalves was being pursued by Providence police cruiser driven by Officer Kyle Andres on October 8th as a pack of ATVs, dirt bikes, and mopeds were cruising through the city. Gonzalves was seriously injured in a crash that afternoon. The key question has always been, did the cruiser make contact with the moped causing the crash? The incident sparked protests in the city with supporters demanding justice for Gonzalves. Attorney General Peter Nerona embarked on an investigation, but an important note here, Nerona opted not to use a grand jury for this probe, and I mention this because he has previously said a grand jury investigation would legally prevent him from publicly disclosing their findings. Gonzalves was in a coma following the incident. His stepfather just told my colleague Brandon that his condition is improving, but he is still not speaking. Gonzalves is currently at a hospital in New Jersey. Now look, even if no officers are charged in this case, there are questions about whether there will be departmental discipline. And Danielle, I can tell you I texted with Providence uh, Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry just before coming in the studio, and he tells me Officer Andres is still on administrative desk duty. We have multiple 12 News crews at the Attorney General's News Conference and we'll bring you the updates as they develop. Tim White, 12 News.